Hello, Kazirashi is a form present in our matimono, in our shodeng uh, stage of our, break, of our grade. And uh, it is a kata that you may um, have seen a lot in our, in our videos. People from all over the world have performed this kata since it is part of our basic grade. Now, there are some explanations concerning this kata which, uh, which make it quite rich and interesting. So let's take a look in the background of what was happening during this exhibition or during this, uh, this situation. So we're talking about Yaijutsu. And uh, this kata is composed of six movements. Just two techniques. If you look closer, we have two, uh, two basic uh, piercing techniques and we have um, two variations for each. So we have one main technique, two variations, and that doubled. We have six techniques. It's um, when someone sees it, uh, in the first glance, it looks like an easy kata. Well, I wouldn't say it isn't, but it's important to understand what is happening there. So, let's see. The first technique is... Second technique. Then we have moving to the next part of the kata, we have It's not the kata itself, but uh, why is this kata composed of uh, stabbing or piercing movements only? You know? The reason for that is that, historically speaking, the masters, they have realized that during a real confrontation, uh, a shinken, or a, a true sword, a edged sword confrontation, uh, when people were, when samurai were wearing or were using full yoroi, it would be quite difficult, empirically speaking, to cut through the whole layers or all the layers of the oyoroi uh, and flesh and bones. So it was quite easier to get through all of that when they would pierce. If we take a look, our hara is lowered and we have this geometry. The weight of the armor of the body and the inertia combined all together at this very moment uh, allows us to to cut at the same time that we pierce because when we pierce the kisaki and its curve naturally cut all together like this even in the komote no kitsuki when we are here you could look it uh, straight ahead what we have is this slight curve and this slight angle uh, helps us uh, stabbing and cutting at the same time. Now, today we know that the reason for that is that uh, yoroi had layers, and uh, oyoroi was a particular type or kind of yoroi. There were many kinds of yoroi, but uh, many of them were composed of fibers of a mesh, which would uh, uh, dress the samurai and these meshes like like this we can see easily that it would be easier to get through this when we pierce in the same alignment of this mesh uh, easier to do this than to cut this mesh all its way down so uh, on the other hand what we have the background for this kata is that uh, when, we're, when we are under a full yoroi or weight changes or, or or sense of movement and or coordination changes as well and or inertia changes too so what we do is we have to keep both our hands 
right in front of our, of our body in this triangle shape. For instance, if I'm here, close and all together join like this. So if anything slides or if, it, or, uh, if something happens and uh, the sword or the kisaki touches one of the uh, guarded parts of the yoroi, I still have my whole body acting as a support to my technique. And so we would keep, we would be able to keep the same angle and the same alignment and thus piercing our enemy. So this composes the, the basic explanations for Kaze Arashi present in Yaiju Shoden. Thank you very much.